All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video within the training series. Uh, in this video, we're going to be focusing on shrinking. Uh, we're going to be focusing on wet shrinking for the side windows. And we're going to also be working on dry shrinking for the back windows. Uh, you might have a question. Can you wet shrink a back window? Absolutely, 100%. Um, I don't suggest it though. Uh, reasons why is because if you wet shrink a back window, um, for the side windows, you don't really dry shrink, you wet shrink, and it's because the fingers are just a little bit smaller. But for a back window, pretty much the entire thing does need to be shrunk to be form fit. The problem with wet shrinking a back window is that you aggressively shrink certain portions of the film while other portions of the film does not get shrunk at all. Um, on top of that, um, you're, you have a higher probability of creasing film with a wet shrink than you would a dry shrink. And because you aggressively shrink certain portions of the film and other portions of the film essentially doesn't get touched, in my opinion, the integrity of the film is compromised more so than you would with a dry shrink. So my always my preferred method for a back window or a front windshield is always gonna be a dry shrink um, and not a wet shrink. But for the sides, wet shrink is, is typically the go-to. Um, we're not gonna be focusing, we're just gonna be focusing on shrinking. That's all we're gonna be focusing here on this video. So I'm gonna go over a wet shrink for the, for the doors, how to lay the film down, and how to shrink the film as well. So this, this, this glass has already been prepped, so I'm just gonna go ahead and wet it down. Uh, notice I'm not soaking um, the car, I'm just kinda wetting it down, right? Getting it, getting it wet. All right, let's assume that this, this is a piece of film that's already been pre-cut. I'm just going to hold that here. Get that right here. Boom. So when you're lining up film, if this was a pre-cut piece of film, hold on. There you go, now we have a side here. So if this is a pre-cut piece of film and we're gonna line it up the way we want it to, um, these are the B pillars, right? I think A, B, and C pillars right down here. So I always line up my film on the C pillar side. Um, so what I would do is the very bottom of the film, I like to keep about an inch away from the bottom, right? So we got about an inch, an inch and a half. And then the front edge, I don't touch, I don't touch it, but I'm about an eighth of an inch. I'm pretty close right there. And that's pretty much how you want to lay your film. Um, if this was a pre-cut piece of film, I mean, obviously this would be excess, but it doesn't really matter, right? So you want about an inch to an inch and a half away, not too close. If you go too close, when you are heating this and you heat it with a heat gun, uh, you could melt this, uh, this railing, and that's definitely not something we want to do, okay? So from here, what I like to do is I'll lay one side down, let me get some, get rid of some of this excess here. Give me one second. This will be more realistic here. Well, so that looks kind of more like what the film would look like. Okay. So we lay the film, we're kind of close, about an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch off this rail, but we're lined up, right? We're not cockeyed. The, the edge of the film is gonna line up with the edge of the, uh, of the window as well. An inch to an inch and a half away from the bottom, and then what I'll do is I'll take my smart card um, or a Bondo card or a MacTac, and I will go ahead and lift it up and I will tack the very, very top. Boom, just like that. Okay, and then I'll bring this the sides down. Just like that. Now I've tacked the top. Notice how it's a little bit fingery here, like there's a little bit of excess film here, and it's super tight right there. Do you see the difference between the two? What we're doing is we're drawing all the fingers down to the bottom. Same thing here, I'm gonna lift up, and I, always, I don't start in the middle, but I start just past halfway, keep my hard card flat, and don't push it into the rail, don't push it into the frame of the window or else you're gonna crease the film. What I wanna do is lay that top flat and come down to this bottom, boom, just like that. So now we're doing a big old horseshoe. Big old horseshoe. And now it's pretty much tight on top, tight on the sides, and now we've drawn all the fingers to the bottom. And the purpose for, for, for shrinking is because windows are curved and film is not. So we want to, we're gonna have to form fit the, uh, the, the film to the glass. So you come up now with these. These are known as fingers in the industry. And our job is to lay these down nice and flat. Um, and notice that they, they come up as peaks, right? If they come up as peaks and then they start to Y right here, 
um, then that means that finger is just a little too big. So what we would do is at the Y, in the middle of the Y, we would run our finger right down there and then we would split it. And then it would come two fingers. Like see, you see that Y right there? That just happened because it's an overabundance of bushing, a, a bundling up a film. That Y right in this area is not going to shrink correctly because um, uh, as you remember in the film video that I had, the, the direction of the shrink is very, very important. It, the film can only shrink in one way. So we want to avoid that Y, but we're going to bring our finger right down the middle and we're going to go ahead and split it up. Now there's no Y and then some of the other fingers on the sides will get a little bit bigger because of that. And that's really what we want. Now we're perfectly set up for shrinking. This is a Wagner heat gun. It's about $24 at Home Depot or Lowe's in the paint section, super easy, affordable, um, two speeds. Crank it all the way up. At high speed, this thing is gonna be about 20, uh, 1200 degrees. You wanna be about 12 inches, you wanna be about six inches away, not 12 inches, six inches away, and you wanna keep the heat moving. I like to keep it in this, this section, left and right. About six, you don't wanna keep it on there because the probability of you heat creasing the film and burning the film is high that way. So you wanna keep the heat moving. What you're gonna do is when you see these fingers straight up and down, what you're looking for is they're gonna to start to wiggle and that's really what you want. So heat gone on, all the way up. Wait for it to heat up. You can look down the barrel, don't look directly at down it, but you'll start seeing that the coils are starting to get nice and hot. And then now we know we're ready to go. Start at the top of the finger. Side to side, notice that you see the fingers. Notice how the fingers start to go side to side. That's exactly what you want. And take a hard card and slide it right down. Perfect, you might get a little bunching at the bottom. That's okay, I'll show you how to figure that out at the end. Okay, tricks to using a heat gun. If you're not heating something up, then make sure you're holding it straight up like a gun and hold it straight up here. I've seen people burn their own hair, turn it and face another tinter and they're burning them. If it's on and you're not shrinking anything, straight up so it doesn't burn anything, okay? Once again, I'm gonna show you this finger again. We're gonna heat it until you see the wiggles. Boom. Once you see the wiggles, that's it. What you can do and what most people do is that they're like, I don't know if that's enough. I don't know if that's enough. What you can do, you can keep going. And then notice if you keep going, you get these really aggressive lines now across. Do you see that? So this is the direction of the window shrink and this goes back that way and, and this is the non-direction. So now we're almost forcing the film to, to try to shrink in a direction that they can't. So that is a little too much heat in my opinion. You can still card it, it's still gonna be fine, but you wanna, you wanna be able to shrink so that you see the wiggles, but then not that hard line. You'll see wiggles and then you'll see a hard line. It's not too bad for side windows, but if you're doing those hard lines, on the back window when you're dry shrinking, um, it's gonna be really hard to card it and you, you're essentially over shrinking it and then it could be potentially be harder for you to install. So the trick of this, of this is to be, able to, uh, to be able to install these windows the easiest way possible for you. Okay, so we got those two fingers down. Last finger here, sometimes you'll get fingers close uh, to the edge. Notice that the film overlaps right here and it's overlapping the frame. Okay, if you get a finger close to there, what I typically do is I'll, while I heat it, I'm gonna put my card right here. And what that's gonna do is gonna block any of that heat. The film here that's laid down touching the glass is very hard to burn, okay? But if I get too close to the film that's not, that's not laying down, you see how quickly that burns? That's burnt right there. Because it's not laying on the glass, it's just is just the film floating, right? So you can burn film very quickly. If I was installing this window, this window would now be smoked because of that, is, that is now burnt. Also, when you're having your heat gun here and you're carding, this is why you say heat gun straight up, right? Up like a gun. Because if you're carding and you're looking there and you turn the heat gun up this way and you're pointing it in a different direction, look, I just smoked that film, right? So if your heat gun is up and now you're trying to card and it's pointing on the overlapping film, you're smoked because now you're gonna destroy film, right? And now you gotta start all over, okay? So protect the overlaying film as much as you can. That way you don't just have the heat gun pointing in a random direction, it's always straight up. And if you have a finger right here, and the, and this, and the back doors, it's gonna be in the back area. In the front doors, you're gonna line it up here, right against the, a, or the B pillars, line it up here, one and a half inches from the bottom, you're gonna have overlay here. So what you do 
is you use your card here to block any of the film that's laying up that's not on the glass. You're gonna block it from that heat if you need a heat uh, finger here to protect that overlapping film so that it doesn't, it, so it doesn't heat crease and shrink and mess up, okay? So we're gonna go shrink again. One more finger right here. We're almost done. I'm gonna go ahead and protect it. It's not too close, but for, for safety purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and protect this film here. Side to side, about six inches. I'm waiting. Notice that the finger went up. The finger went up and that's okay. Let that happen. Get, get back up to the top. Watch the wiggles. Done. Notice how it's wiggling and we haven't gotten to that hard line portion yet. That's okay. That's what we want. Boom, lay it down, lay it down, lay it down. Now you have a bunch of little fingers here. That's okay. Heat gun, wiggle, wiggle. What you're gonna notice, you're gonna see the very bottom tighten up. And that's what you want. Wiggle, wiggle, you see the bottom tighten up. And a little wiggle, and we're good. Once you see the wiggle and the bottom tighten up, boom, that's it. You're done. But Patrick, it's not laid down all the way. Will that lay down? Nah, well, I'm gonna show you another trick. Uh, this trick's called the double snap. I do this with every single one of my windows, especially my front windows and back windows, my front windshields and my back windows, because this is, this is gonna stop you from chasing little fingers down at the bottom. I'm gonna show you guys how to shrink this. So double snap, you're gonna take the bottom of the window film, you can take a card here like this, or you can lift up the bottom, and you're only gonna lift up about two inches. Hard card the side with just the side. I'll never, you never want to shrink over here. You never want to shrink over here because then you can prevent, you can uh, make fingers happen or you can crease it sideways and we don't want to do that. Lift it up. Now all this, this extra excess that's lifted, I'm going to push this back down just to the bottom two inches. Bottom two inches. Now look what happened. Let's do this a little bit more. Boom. Look what happened. Now we have uh, some more fingers. This is why it's called a double snap, because we're gonna double snap this, and we're just gonna heat it just again, side to side. And then once you see the wiggles, lay it down, side to side, wiggle, 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 boom. And just like that, that bottom rail is nice and flat. Okay, so now you're not gonna have any worries about fingers or, or popping or, or anything of that nature. And that's how you shrink a side window. It is a wet shrink. It's a traditional way to do a, a, a wet shrink. And that's it. Now you're ready. Now you're ready, we'll move on. We'll put this film on a, on a peel board or something like that, and then we get it ready for cleaning and installation. And that is gonna be in the next video. So that's a side window. And now let's go ahead and move on to the back windshield. All right, moving on to the back window. So the back window is a dry shrink. I don't prefer uh, a wet shrink. I don't suggest the wet shrink on the back window. There are obviously exceptions to the rules and I will make a video or something when those situations pop up, but most of the time it's just gonna be a dry shrink. Now, most of the time for, for most of window tinting, um, it, it, we used to use dryer sheets. Um, the problem is dryer sheets are incredibly toxic. They're, they're, they're bad for you. We, as window tenders, we use them ridiculously. So I came up with a product called Dry Shrink Prep. Now Dry Shrink Prep, if you haven't heard of it, is, is a product that is designed to mimic the end result of a dryer sheet, but it's made with 100% all natural ingredients. We manufacture it here in-house using raw materials and create the product ourselves. It took us a little over two years to create the product. Um, but we finally got the perfect formula and it's been in production and in the industry for roughly the last five years as of right now. Um, so that's what we're going to be using today. This happens to be a dry shrink prep starter set. Um, and I'm going to go over how to use this in here. So as a starter set, we have refill jars, starter sets, applicators, um, and things of that nature on the website. For more information, you can go to dryshrinkprep.com and check out the offerings that we have available. But in the starter set, it's gonna come with the applicator and then you're gonna go ahead, open it up and it'll also come with two ounces of product inside. Also here inside the bag, um, there is also a eight step instruction guide. Um, in the future, this eight step instruction guide is gonna disappear. It's gonna have a QR code and it's gonna get you linked to the application video that we have available on YouTube as well. So I'm gonna have put that right there. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open up the bag with the product in it. And I just go ahead and just shove the opening in there. And you're just gonna go ahead and empty out the contents of the plastic bag into the applicator. Just that easy. 
At this point, you can throw it away and go ahead and pull the lock string and you're good to go. Now this back window is already being cleaned and prepped and now it's ready for, for dry shrink prep. Um, and it's real, real simple. The application is the most important, okay? Even with dryer sheets, if you apply it too heavily and it's still wet, film is gonna stick and that's gonna be the hardest part. If you use dry shrink prep correctly, um, not only will you be able to prep the window, you'll be able to save on product and, uh, and you'll be able to uh, tint the window instantly. There's no waiting, there's no dr waiting for dry time or anything of that nature. So because this is, this is brand new and this dry, I'm gonna prime it just a little bit. But typically all you need is about two sprays. On, on the applicator itself, don't spray near the car because we don't want any overspray. Dry shrinking is important. The, 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 the biggest enemy to dry shrinking is moisture, right? So we're gonna try to avoid that. Two sprays directly on the applicator. On one half of the car, go directly in the center, slide to the outside. Now from here, now just apply the product just like this, spread it out. You're gonna see that it's wet and, uh, and you're just gonna go ahead and keep rubbing it. I did spray three sprays. Like I said, some people absolutely saturate the applicator. Um, I don't suggest doing that. Number one, it's gonna take much longer for the product to dry. Number two, you're gonna go through a lot more product a lot quicker. So let's just not do that. Let's just do it smart and do it right. Notice that I start rubbing, rubbing, rubbing the areas that, um, that was wet and notice that it's starting to leave a haze on the glass. That's exactly what you want. Keep working the product in until you get all that haze and there is no more moisture. That is exactly what you want. If I can see here with a good angle, you can kind of see the haze starting to take effect. It's a little bit better. I have 5% window tint on that window, so it's a little bit harder to see. So that's half the side, and now you take it, two sprays with your spray bottle, with your sprayer, doesn't really matter. And you're gonna go face down, right in the center, outside to the center, and then spread it out. And make sure you overlap your first, your first half so that you have full coverage. And we're not just going to the edge, we're going all the way, all the way around the glass, covering all the glass, because anything that doesn't have DSP, the film could instantly stick to it, and that's gonna be an issue when we're dry shrinking. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep working it. There is a little bit of moisture still in there, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep working it. Um, if you happen to overspray, maybe you did two sprays and it's too much and there's too much moisture, just go ahead and take the applicator, throw it around the other side to the dry side. Really, really easy. Um, and then next time, if you did two sprays or three sprays and you notice that it's not drying as quickly, like that's ready to go. If it doesn't look like that and you're still having to work it in, then you're spraying too much water on it and you're using too much product and you're gonna run through the product too quickly. Okay, it's all about the user experience. Now, you can just take this applicator and you just go hang it up somewhere in your shop. Boom, just like that. Now you know where it is, it's visible, you can see it. That back glass is ready to rock. I do have a back window here for it. It is pre-cut already for it. So we're gonna go ahead and determine which side is the film side. Remember I went over that in our film class, uh, the film video. So I'm gonna put, put, pull it over uh, and corner to corner, I'm gonna try to move it. It doesn't move, that means this is the film side. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay it down. This is a pre-cut piece of film. So boom, boom, we're gonna lay it down nice and neat here. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and trim right now. I'm gonna go ahead and trim the sides. Getting close to that pre-cut kit. Um, if, you're not, if you're not using a pre-cut and you're hand cutting, you just wanna get close. Um, you wanna get, you just wanna trim. So you wanna make sure when you trim, you're outside of the, the black ceramic coating that is on the back window. Make sure you're trimming outside and then you'll do your final trim on the inside. Uh, you'll do your final trim once the shrink is done. So because this is a pre-cut, all I need to do is kind of just trim it and then I'll adjust it to, to the position it needs to be in. Right here, I know I'm gonna have an issue, but I'm gonna show you. So I see the corner here and I see the corner here. So this is a pre-cut set. So I'm gonna lift it up. I'm gonna find the corner. I'm just gonna lay that, that corner piece right over there. Then I'm gonna lift up here and kind of look and see the bottom of my film and the bottom of the ceramic coating. I'm just gonna try to line that up as best as I can. It's not perfect, right? This doesn't have to be perfect because it's pre-cut. Um, but then that's gonna be the general area. I usually take, take my fingers and lay a vertical line here so I can tack that. 
Notice I lay, I kept the top long. I always keep the top long. I keep the top long just in case I need it. It's like insurance. It's there if you need it, but if you don't need it, you can trim it off later. Um, and we'll use that as a pull method. I'll show you one side where we're not gonna pull and another side we are gonna pull. I do have this fin here, so it's in my way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift up right here. And if I was gonna do the pull method, I'm gonna go past halfway, I'm gonna cut into the film and not cut into my pattern. And I'm just gonna go ahead and, and cut up from here. Okay, and boom. Now I can, I can, I still have long, but I'm, I'm, not, uh, I'm not in the way of the fin anymore. And I probably should have tacked this down. So again, I'm gonna find the, the bottom corner, bottom left corner for me. And if it's sticking or whatever, let's say it's tacked right there and it's not moving, you just gotta wiggle a little bit, let it loose and notice how it floats. That's the beauty of dry shrink prep. Find the corner. Get that lined up, find the line, line it up. We're roughly in that area. Vertical tack here. Then I'll take uh, my Mac tack or my smart card. Where'd my smart card go? I like my smart card. Oh, whatever. Vertical line, we're gonna do an H pattern. H pattern is gonna be one line across the middle. And then what I like to do is I just like to do a light finger, a light finger across the sedge. I don't like doing this hard H here because then you leave all this film that doesn't get shrunk and sometimes it'll bite you in the ass in the back end Okay, so H pattern and then just a light finger 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 width. Okay, same thing over here. We're gonna come back to this side We're gonna lift up. That's why I tack. So I'm gonna lift up just past halfway and I'm gonna go ahead and tack now Just like that and a light finger boom now we're ready to go uh, notice that we have an H pattern here and all our fingers are straight up and down here and straight up and down here um, So for this side, I'm going to show you guys How with a without a, a handle to pull on so I'm just going to cut it straight And that side I'll show you with a handle Oh, here's my smart card I like a smart card. A smart card is, is gonna be forgiving. If you're just starting out, a Mac tack is gonna be much more forgiving, but the hard card's good because you got that, you have that hard edge, especially on the very bottom, it helps out a little bit more. Um, but either way, uh, if you're just starting out, a Mac tack is gonna be, your, is gonna be the, the move for you because it's much more forgiving. Okay, so we're ready to go. And uh, just keep in mind, don't forget, we're talking about those light squiggles, right? We're not, we don't wanna see those aggressive lines. Once you get to a squiggle, that's good. If you keep heating it, it'll start getting aggressive lines and we don't wanna do that. You're at the verge of over shrinking it at that point. So we wanna avoid that, okay? And I like to work in quarters. So I'll work this bottom quarter first, okay? We're gonna start here and we're gonna work all the way across. So here it's tacked and we're just gonna wanna work in two inch segments, three inch segments. Okay, and then once you get better, you can open it up to three or four inch segments, five inch segments. What I don't like doing is I don't like, um, I don't like shrinking the entire thing and then carting the entire thing because the film has to move and sometimes you end up creasing it that way. So I wouldn't suggest that. So here we go. Top of the fingers, halfway. Notice the wiggle. See the wiggle? It'll lay down. See how it just wiggles and lays down? Now, that's the first one, that's two, three inches, okay? Notice that that's where the fingers start from the new ones. These are still fingers, and this is pretty much laid down. I hope you guys can see that, right? So we're gonna card just to the top of the next fingers. We're not gonna card into the fingers, right? We haven't shrunk this area. So if I go down in there, there's excess of film, hence fingers, and I'll end up creasing there. So we don't wanna go into this area. We just wanna go down to the top of the fingers. Okay, and if you see it kind of swooping up and down, you can throw it down, a finger down, just kind of straighten it out, but it'll straighten out. Again, the next two or three inches, we're side by side, waiting for that film to shrink, side, a little squiggly, and we're moving on. Squiggly, and we're moving on. Just like that, done. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and card again. I like to pull. I don't like to push at first. I push at the end, but when you're learning, pull. It's very delicate, it's very easy. Pull, 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 pull. Just like that, okay? Notice these fingers are starting to come this way, like this. What do we do? I don't know if you can see it here. 
they're kind of swooping this way, right? So this is showing you that's the direction of the film that needs to lay down. So let's go ahead and push that down in that direction. Boom, look at that. Lays right down, and now you have straight up and down fingers. Okay, let's keep going. Let's do a little bit more. On the sides, you want to make sure you keep your sides tight. These sides need to stay tight because this is the direction of the film shrink, okay? It doesn't shrink this way. So if you have a finger over here and you try to shrink it, it's all it's gonna do is gonna crease on you because film doesn't shrink that way. Okay, another couple inches. Here we go, top of the finger. We're gonna go side to side until we start seeing that wiggle. Saw that wiggle and you notice that the film just naturally lays down. I'm not doing a lot of work here. I'm letting the heat gun do the work, okay? Couple more inches. I'm gonna leave the last two inches here now pull boom to the top of the next fingers you see these fingers these haven't been shrunk yet so don't go in that area pull 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 boom just like that now at this point i'll turn my card over and i'll go straight down with it again same thing as before heat gun close wait for the wiggles you'll see it tighten up see it tighten up just like that all the way through to the end all the way through to the end don't shrink don't shrink just at the line go all the way through and we're going to push straight down boom 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 first quarter is done already now back to the double snap we're going to take this finger we're going to lift up here we're going to lift up the bottom two inches okay we're going to lay it down right nice and easy now we tighten up we never shrink the quarters the corners okay so we're going to keep that nice and tight and then we haven't shrunk this area, so I'm gonna hard cart it there. Notice we have some more fingers now here, right? I'm just gonna smooth this out, and then just the last inch or two. Give it some more heat. You'll see it kind of lay down a little bit more. Lay down, wiggle, wiggle, it'll get flat. Just like that. Nice and flat. And right at the line, the line should lay down flat. Now look at that straight down. That's all glass. And now that we've done a double snap over here, it's going to be slightly tighter, right, down at the bottom. Now when you install this, and if you install it correctly, there's not going to be any fingers down here, which means we're not going to have to chase it with cards or chase it with squeegees or put a squeegee down there and try to put a heat gun down there and potentially burn the inside of the car. So this is going to save you a lot of time if you do it right double snap now back up up top we have a handle what we want to do is you see this curve that's going this way sometimes these fingers get pretty big so you can take the handle and pull so that the fingers go straight up and down and that's the only thing you're going to do with the uh with the pull method that's called the pull method look at it here top two fingers i'm moving my hand as i'm shrinking and look boom that's it Notice that it just laid down just like that. This one I kind of push. You can pull if you want. Push or pull, whatever you feel comfortable with. If you're starting to crease film, then don't pull, push. And if you're starting to crease when you push, then pull. But I'm only going up to the portion that I shrunk already. That's it. That's it. Move slow. Now you're gonna kind of getting bunched up right here. Because what a lot of people do is they just kind of lay this whole thing down. And then it gets bunched up here. What I do is I kind of lift it. And I, that's why I do this light finger. On the outside edges for back windows and front windshields, instead of going straight up, I go up and out. So I'll go up and I'll go out. And if it bunches up like that, just lift the film up and lay down. So I'm gonna go up and at an angle, like a 45 degree angle. If I'm going up and out and I create a finger this way, I'm going too aggressive. You wanna still keep it tight, but we're gonna go up and out instead of, instead of this way because it forces more fingers this way and you could end up getting so much film that you can't shrink it. Film can only shrink so much before before it'll crease. So we want to make this easy on yourselves. Okay, another couple inches. Another couple inches. Okay, you see that film laying down? It's just the heat, side to side. Just a little bit. Pulling that film if I need to. If you don't need to pull the film, then you don't need to pull the film. Up and out. In the corners, up and out. Straight up. On the sides, see that, swir that that finger that's going that way? We want to push it that way. It's showing. It's going to tell you what, what in which direction you want to go to. And if you push enough, you'll push up until the fingers create again. And then you're ready to go. And let's go ahead and keep finishing. 
right at the end you want to you want to go until about an inch from the top and then we'll finish off the top in one foul swoop uh, up and out in the corners and the top corners you don't have to do it down here you can a little bit actually but the bottoms are a little bit easier to shrink the tops everyone messes up this top corner that top corner and the same thing with the front windshields so with that pull method is going to help you hard card hard card lay it down and if and if it's kind of a little shrunk and it's kind of weird it's weird it just make sure there's good pressure down here and you're just pushing straight up you're guiding the film okay that's the beautiful thing about dry shrink prep you can lift it up you can move it around you can lay it down when you want to lay it down and let's go ahead and finish up the top we're not going to just shrink to the line we're going to shrink all the way up to the top okay if you need to pull use those use that handle and pull Okay, and we're gonna go all the way up past the line. Okay, we wanna shrink. I can see it because this is a pre-cut piece of film, the line's right here, so I've shrunk way up here. If I wasn't using a pre-cut piece of film and I was just gonna shrink, I know that the film roughly stops here. I mean, the, the ceramic coating roughly stops around here. So I wanna shrink just a little bit further. So when I hand cut, I know I'm already laid down. And uh, in here, you can do the double snap again. Um, and always lay down the corners and then up to two inches and go ahead and give it another shrink and you'll see the film shrink a little bit nothing too crazy but again this is going to go ahead and and tighten up that top edge the top edge isn't too crazy because you have access to it um, and i'll teach you guys how to do that in another video where you have fingers at the top and you take a heat gun real quickly and then lay it down but you have to be careful because you, what you can do is you could end up uh you could end up burning the interior so you have to be very very careful or what people do is they'll 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 shrink they'll shrink the finger and not pay attention and point this gun in a different direction and then like burn the uh like the 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 inside of something a seat or something all right other side we're going to do we're going to shrink this side one finger down one finger down we're going to shrink this side without a pull tab and i'm going to show you guys how to do that so i'm just going to lift it up a little bit relay my h pattern one finger down remember tight 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 on the sides you don't want any fingers on the sides okay heat gun up and side to side wiggle wiggle and move on wiggle wiggle move on I'm gonna do this side a little bit faster for those of you guys that just are starting to get it. I'd go about four to six inches and then I'd stop. I wouldn't shrink any more than that um, just because then this, it gets hard to start to lay it down. Okay, so from here I can lay this down. Notice that there's a finger right there. So it's starting to push up on the side. So I just went a little too much on the sideways and you're gonna push down. Look, I'm not using a lot of pressure. I'm not going crazy. It's my card and the heat gun that's doing all the work. Another one side to side and keep moving. Keep moving side to side. You don't want any of those aggressive lines and I'm gonna show you what an aggressive line looks like. So that's already good. But if I keep going, you see those hard aggressive lines? See those hard aggressive lines? That's too shrunk, that's too much. We're past the wiggle and now we're going into aggressive lines. That makes it harder to lay down and that also makes it harder to, uh, to install. Okay, so we want to avoid that. Last one's here. Just going into the wiggle. Going into the wiggle. Good. And card down. Okay, again, we're going to lift up. Bottom two inches, past halfway. We went past halfway on that side. We're going to go past halfway on this side. That way we always have coverage. Card down the corner. And you're going to card up to two inches. Heat again. All right, my GoPro died, sorry. All right, so double snapping again, let's pick it back up. We're on the double snap now, wait until the fingers lay down till that edge lays down. You'll see the line, and if you don't see the line if from a pre-cut, if you're just, you're gonna hand cut this, then you'll just see that edge just tighten up. Boom. Just like that, and hard card. And again, what that's gonna do is gonna save you from having to chase fingers down there because it's gonna be just a little bit tighter. All right, now this, up and over. And again, same thing, fingers side to side. And I go about halfway and I'll go hard card up this time. Again, this half I'm going a little bit faster and you wanna kind of go up and out. Kind of, It's kind of laid down right here, so I'll lift it up and I'll go up and out. 
and that way I create a little bit of a finger there side to side and I'm gonna push all the way through obviously this is just a little bit faster than the first half um, just you know just in case you're getting it then we'll move on all right that's shrunk lay it down flat lift it up halfway lay it down when you are laying this down be careful make sure you lay it down here don't lay it down and then move it because it will crease so lift it up lay it down again we're gonna be tight in the corner and off the sides and up to two inches and we're just gonna double snap that that top edge and when that's gonna do again it's gonna tighten it up just a little bit boom just like that and notice that I put my heat gun face up it's a, that way it can cool down and I keep it out of the way I don't want to like kind of leave it here or leave it somewhere where someone can trip on it and someone gets hurt um, these heat guns run at 1200 degrees okay so these heat guns don't burn you they stick to you okay so and if you touch it even just for a split second see that scar right there that scar right there I grazed my my knee with a heat gun once for just grazed it scarred for life okay so be careful with that but if we finish up the back window look at that glass smooth if it ain't glass it's ass and it's going to be a hard time to install that window okay so that's your goal flat glass just like that that's how you shrink a back window that's how you shrink side windows for a wet shrink I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it was helpful. If you liked it, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, hit it in the comments below. Um, and then uh, go ahead and check out some other videos. We'll see you in the next one.